Hello? Hello! I'm back with more of a low-key video today, but it's a long one, so I suggest that you grab a coffee or a snack. We're gonna be here for a while. Today I'm continuing my declutter series, and I'm going to declutter all of my regular nail polishes, and I'm gonna reorganize all of my nail products in my new makeup dresser. I hardly ever use my regular nail polish anymore since I made the switch to gel, so I have been putting off this declutter for so long, but it has to be done. That's why it's gonna be a long one, because I'm going through like every single single nail polish. I know that you guys enjoy declutters and I know that a lot of you enjoy when I'm super thorough so I'm gonna be doing a lot of talking. If you're not into that maybe fast forward it or just skip this video altogether. I was gonna gather all of my dried up nail polishes and try to bring them back to life with a little bit of nail polish thinner in this video but it's so long that I'm gonna have to do a separate video on that just for funsies. It'll be like a little bonus video. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and not to worry, I'm working on other videos. There will be a lot of fresh content going up soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and let's get into it. Okay, so this here is the closet of shame. Hello darkness, my old friend. This is the closet that I'm always referencing in all of my declutter videos. Things go into my closet to die because I forget about maybe 90% of the shit that's in here. I do eventually want to move away from these Alex drawers and declutter absolutely everything in here. Move it all outside of this closet into the main part of my office. It is going to take like another 10 to 15 declutters until we get there. We are going to start out with this bottom drawer which houses all of my regular nail polish. I used to be quite the nail art enthusiast. I absolutely loved changing my nail polish and then I slowly stopped using regular nail polish and I started purchasing gel polish. You can imagine the guilt that I feel about completely neglecting all of this. We're gonna start out with this drawer. I'm going to lay everything out and I'm going to declutter and then I'm gonna go through this drawer which has some random shit and then this drawer which has gel polishes, dip powders, random stuff. I've got my dust collector here. I've got a box of random shit in here. This this is gonna be a very good video for me because this has been weighing on me heavily and I cannot wait to organize everything in my new dresser. Now I'm just gonna grab a towel. I'm gonna lay it out on my floor so that I don't completely destroy my rug. Probably gonna throw on a crime podcast or I might listen to Post Malone's new album, which by the way is so good, but I need to know who broke his heart. I just wanna talk.
I divided everything by brand and then within each brand there are subcategories. For example, in the OPI section I have the liquid sand polishes and the crackle polishes. Do you guys remember crackle shatter polishes? These were all the rage back in the day. I feel like I am emotionally attached to a lot of these because they bring me back to a certain time in my life, which is the issue with every single freaking declutter that I've done. So hopefully we can get this down to a reasonable amount, especially considering the fact that I'm not going to use a lot of these. I think I'm going to start with my OPIs. These two up here were part of the OPI Nicki Minaj collection, so I'm going to keep them. This one, I'm pretty sure, was part of that collection too. Did it on them. Yep, I'm going to keep this one. Teenage Dream, which kind of makes me think it was part of the Katy Perry collection they had. Anyway, looks like I really like this one. It does need a little bit of nail polish thinner, so I'm going to put this in the keep pile. These two are French Quarter for Your Thoughts and Tickle My Francie. I'm going to keep both of these. I don't know what collection these were from, but I don't like how this one is so separated. I'm gonna have to uh, find a way to get rid of that yellow, so it's gonna bother me. I'm gonna keep these both. This is, it's a doozy, says Susie. You can kind of see the gold shift in it. And this one is Malaga Wine, kind of like a nail polish version of Night Moth by MAC. I really like it. I think it might need a little bit of, yeah, nail polish thinner. It's kind of chunky in there. Dear God, the smell of that was intense. Anyway, I'm gonna keep these both. I have two bottles of Mod About You. This is probably one of my favorite nail polish shades that OPI makes. I also have the gel polish version. So anyway, I'm gonna keep these both. Italian love affair. Senorita Rosalita. I think I'm gonna pass these both on. I just don't see myself reaching for them. Movilus Memories. I think I'm gonna pass this one on to my sister. Hot and spicy. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is Black Onyx. It looks dried to shit. I wonder if I can revive this at all. It doesn't even look like there's very much left in the bottle. I'm kind of curious to just play around with it. Oh my god, look how thick that is. Do you see that? Yuck. I want to keep it just for fun to see if I can thin it out, so I'm going to put it in the keep pile. This here is one of my favorites. I absolutely freaking love it. Lincoln Park After Dark. I don't know if this was a limited edition or what. I want this in the gel polish version. I think it's so pretty. It's like an eggplant. Ooh, this one looks kind of dry too. Look how thick that is. So I'm going to put this in the keep pile. Unripened. I used this on my niece over the weekend. It's super pretty. She wanted something spooky for um, fall time, so I'm going to keep this. Lou certainly look more marvelous. I'm gonna keep this one. Very interesting names, OPI. You always come up with some weird ass shit that takes me forever to put together. Like I sat here for a minute trying to figure out what they're trying to say. I get it. I get it. This one here is super cool. It reminds me of like uh, a dragonfly or something. It's called Just Spotted the Lizard. I am gonna keep this just because it's neat and I feel like my niece might have fun with it when she comes over. Fit for a Queensland. This one's like a off-white with a pink iridescent shift. I think I'm gonna pass this one on to my sister-in-law if she wants it. And this one here is super old. It's called Care to Dance. And I've been trying to find this on Amazon or eBay because I'm pretty sure it's discontinued, but I love this. I used to put um, glitter on my tips with this all over the nail and it just looks so pretty. I wish they would bring this back. And if you guys know of a shade that is similar to this, please let me know in the comments. So anyway, I'm gonna keep this. Um, I'm gonna try to thin it out a little bit more. These two are from their Liquid Sand collection, which as the name gives way dry to a sand like finish. I don't know what compelled me to buy these. Thinking about it now, I can't imagine wanting nail polish that feels like sand, but maybe I was just trying to be creative back in the day. This one is in Pussy Galore, which looks a little bit more used than the one on the left, which is in the shade Jinx. I don't know, maybe my sister-in-law will like these. She likes interesting, different things, so I'm gonna set these aside for her. Onto the infamous shatter polishes. Black shatter, turquoise shatter, and gold shatter. I'm pretty sure this black one is Dunzo. I don't even think that I should attempt to revive it with nail polish thinner because I don't think it's gonna mesh well. I don't know if this is like a different formula than regular nail polish. I don't really care to try. So I'm gonna throw this one out and then I'm gonna pass these ones on to my sister-in-law in case maybe like my niece wants them. Maybe she can bring back the trend. <laughs> Uh, cause I don't see myself ever using these. So, finally I have one nail polish in the throwaway pile. Onto my China Glaze nail polishes, which I have a love-hate relationship with. I really love 
the shades that China Glaze offers, especially the neons, they're unreal, they're super bright, but you need like the best base and top coat to make them work so that they don't chip to absolute hell. That's Shore Bright, I'm keeping this one. Pool Party, this one's a classic, I'm keeping it. Shocking Pink, this is like a really bright neon pink, I'm keeping that. Flip Flop Fantasy, this one is a classic as well. In a Lily Bit, I picked this one up thinking that it would be similar to OPI's Mod About You, and it is, but I like the finish on the OPI better than the China Glaze. I'm gonna keep it regardless. White on white, it's a very bright white, although mine doesn't look that white anymore because it's so old. Anyway, I'm keeping that one as well. For Audrey, this one is very separated. I don't know, do I wanna keep this? Lux and Lush, absolutely gorgeous. It's just like iridescent flakes. I can tell that it needs a little bit of nail polish thinner, so hopefully I can revive it. It looks so pretty as um, a topper. This is the China Glaze version of the OPI Shatter Polishes, but it's called Crackle Glaze. It's dried up, I'm gonna throw it out. I'm gonna work my way through some of my Sally Hansen polishes, starting out with these complete salon manicures. I remember really liking these. I Lilac You, I'm gonna keep this one. Pink Slip. I think I'm just gonna throw this one out. It's hella old. This is Barracuda. I think I'm gonna keep this. Guilty Pleasure. This one's really separated. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, that's kind of nice too. Will I ever really wear it though? I don't think so. I'm gonna pass this one on. Oh! This is another guilty pleasure. Okay, this one's really old. I'm gonna throw this one out. I've got a couple of their salon nail lacquers. This one's called Sweet Creams. I'm gonna put it in my keep pile, but that's a maybe. Pat on the black. I like this. It's similar to Linkin Park After Dark. That's why I originally picked it up because I thought it could be a dupe. It looks a little bit dried out. I'm gonna keep it for fun. I've got a white Sally Hansen crackle polish, which brings back so many memories. I used to post nail art on my uh, website back in the day, and I remember doing like an anti valentine Valentine's Day nail design with this. I created like a broken heart. I still really don't like Valentine's Day, but anyway, I wonder if this still works. I wonder if any of the shatter nail polishes still work. Maybe I'll try them out at the very end for fun. I'm not gonna keep this for myself. Pass it on to my niece and see if she wants it. Do you guys remember when CoverGirl made nail polish? Do they still make nail polish? Am I living in the past? I'm so out of touch with nail polish. I have no idea what they have on the market anymore. Anyway, these were cute as like a little topper, but I had to build this up to like three coats to make it look as sparkly as it looks in the bottle. So I think I'm just gonna throw these out. Since I went through those other Sally Hansen nail polishes, I feel like I should just get through this row. Starting with the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. I used to really like this range. As you can see, I have quite a few of them. This one is Gun Metal. I think I'm gonna keep it because it's unique to my collection. Red Carpet. This is nice and sparkly. It's perfect for Christmas time. I'm gonna keep that one as well. Mint Sorbet. I'm gonna toss it only because I've got this Essie one that is similar that I know I'm gonna keep. I've got this Revlon one that is similar that I think I'm gonna keep. This random one from Ardeen's, I think, that I might keep. So this one's gonna go. Pacific Blue. I wanna keep it, but it's kind of similar to another Essie polish that I'm gonna keep in the shade Butter Please. I feel like the Sally Hansen one is slightly lighter, so for that reason, maybe I'll just keep it for a little bit longer. This one is Mellow Yellow, and I'm inclined to keep it only because I don't have any other yellows and who knows maybe down the road I'll want to do some kind of nail art and I'll need a yellow shade so that one's staying this one's called celeb city and it kind of looks like a silver pigment I don't have anything like it so I'm gonna keep it this is coral reef I just want to shake it up a little bit I don't see a need for it and I'm pretty sure my sister-in-law was asking me uh, for a hot pink the other day so I'm gonna put that in her pile this one here is lacy lilac I love lilac shades I think I'm gonna keep it I've got a Sally Hansen insta dry polish that has seen better days. This is in Raspberry Race. It's hella old, so I'm gonna toss it. Sally Hansen Gem Crush in the shade Bejeweled. This would make such a pretty eyeshadow. I initially thought I was gonna throw this out until I shook it up, and now I don't know what I wanna do. Look how pretty that is. I think I'm gonna put it in the keep pile for now and then decide at the very end. Sally Hansen Lacquer Shine in the shade Beaming. I am definitely gonna toss this. It is very old, and uh, I don't see myself using it. Oh my 
god. We have struck gold, people. We have a fossil in our presence. Do you remember not only wearing this on your manicure, but also your pedicure, slapping on some frosty lip gloss and feeling like a bad bitch? Because I do. I feel like this nail polish really tells my age. I am Sally Hansen chrome nail polish old. Anyone that's around my age knows exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to this. I'm so sad to let this go. I really don't want to because it just brings back so many memories, but at least I have this video diary, so my Sally Hansen chrome nail polish will live on forever. On to my Essie polishes. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna keep all of them, but I thought I'd show you them anyway. This one is so dried out, it needs some nail polish thinner. This is hors d'oeuvres, super pretty and sparkly. Just a gorgeous topper. I would actually wear this on its own. Beyond Cozy also could use some nail polish thinner. Shine of the Times, it's very similar to that other China Glaze one I kept. Love it. Ballet slippers, I'm not sure that I'll wear this again. It's not as pinky as I'd want it to be or as nude as I'd want it to be. I'm gonna have to swatch this, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep it. Blossom Dandy, super pretty. Bikini So Teeny, really love that shade. Petal Pushers, this is like a beautiful, cool toned gray. I love it. Butter Please, I showed you that one earlier. And Comfy and Cashmere, this one's kind of cool. Keeping all of these. I'm gonna slide the camera my right and go over these Maybelline nail polishes. These are their color show nail polishes. I remember when they first released these, I was so impressed with them. This is actually a really nice formula. Um, this one's separated to shit. Porcelain Party. It's not very white anymore. Yeah, it's super old. I'm gonna throw it out. This one is really pretty. It's one of their limited edition ones in lime accent. It's a little bit lighter than the Nicki Minaj one. Maybe I'll put this in my sister-in-law's pile. Orange Fix, super bright orange shade. I'm gonna pass this one on as well because the bright orange that I kept in the OPI formula is very similar to this. This one is super pretty. It's called Bleached in Peach. It kind of reminds me of an orange creamsicle, so I'm gonna keep it. I don't have anything else in my collection that's this pale. Onto my L'Oreal nail polishes. This is gonna be really difficult for me to declutter because I really like the formula, and again, I have memories attached to all of these. This is Rock and Pink. Caught Red Handed is a beautiful metallic red. I love it. It just reminds me of Christmas. Mango Get em. This is really separated. Stroke of Midnight is one of my favorite drugstore deep red shades. This could definitely use some nail polish thinner. Vintage Vinyl is one of their extraordinaire gel lacquers, and this is like a plummy gray. I absolutely love it. This one is also an extraordinaire gel lacquer in the shade Don't Shy Away. Beautiful. Royal Blue. This one's a limited edition. Golden Chic. Butterfly Kisses. Look how pretty. So I think of these, I'm gonna pass on Rock and Pink and mango get them and I'm gonna keep these. I've got five Rimmel nail polishes. Four of them are the 60 second ones and this one's a 10 day wear with minerals. I think I'm gonna keep this one because I like to have at least one kind of like shimmery white shade in my collection. This one is in the shade Magnetize. I think I kind of want to keep this one too. It might look pretty as a topper. Climax is kind of neat but I don't know if I'd wear it. This one is Night Before and then Gray Matter. This reminds Reminds me of a Finch song. I think I'm gonna keep these three and I'm gonna pass these two on. Color Club nail polishes, I only see myself holding on to these two. Wicker Park, one of my only holographic nail polishes. It's called Harp On It. I've actually never even worn it. I was hypnotized by it, I purchased it, and then I completely forgot that I owned it. I never really got onto the hollow train. I just, I love the way that they look in the bottle, but I have yet to actually put this on my nails. This one is dried. I don't see myself being able to salvage it. It's called Platinum Record. So I'm gonna throw it out. And this one I think I'm gonna pass on to my sister. It's called Poptastic. Down here I have a bunch of nail polishes from Ardeen. Do you guys know that store? They've got like accessories and nail polishes. You know what? I'm gonna pass them all on. This one is a recent purchase. I was just curious to see what's new at the drugstore. And I don't think I've ever tried water-based nail polishes before. I don't think I was too crazy about it. I don't know if it's because I'm not used to applying regular nail polish anymore. I'm so used to working with gel, which only dries when you cure it. I'm not used to working fast enough that I don't get streaks. I am gonna keep it, cause it's a pretty color. I think I just need to get used to working with regular nail polish again, which sounds funny, but when you stop using it and you get used to gel, it's like a whole different world. I don't know that you can find Joe Fresh outside of Canada, can you? I get my Joe Fresh stuff from Superstore. I tend to keep these little flaky nail polishes because I think they look very nice as toppers. So this one I am gonna keep. I don't think I'm gonna keep the dark one. I wasn't a huge fan and I don't see my 
sister-in-law wearing it either, so I'm gonna toss this one. These two I'm gonna hold on to. I just love creamy, dark shades like this, and I do see myself wearing these again. And these two I think are gonna get passed on. I don't imagine my sister-in-law will wear this, but she might like the pinky one. I had to take a little break because this asshole was outside revving his engine for the last half hour. I'm sure his wiener isn't tiny at all. This Sephora nail polish I'd love to keep, but it's so dried out and I don't see myself being able to salvage it. Same goes for this Milani Jewel FX nail lacquer. So we're gonna say bye to those. I've actually never used this Formula X nail polish from Sephora, so I'm gonna keep it. And I think I'm gonna pass this one on Play Day by MAC. It's really nice, but I think I already have something in my collection that is similar. So I'm gonna say bye to that. These two are Forever 21 polishes and the ones on the left are Wet n Wild. I'm gonna get rid of both of these. This was the other holographic polish I was talking about earlier. Didn't apply very nicely, so I'm gonna toss it. And this one, I really like the shade of, but it's similar to this Revlon one that I think I'm gonna keep. So the Forever 21 is gonna go. And as for these three Wet n Wild ones, I thought this was neat. It's kind of like a black glitter. It doesn't apply very nicely, so I'm gonna toss it. And this is like a multicolored glitter. Again, doesn't apply very nicely, so I'm gonna toss it. Hmm, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Moving on to my Revlon polishes. I really like this formula. It's gonna be very hard for me to declutter these, but I know that I have to. Minted, I think I'm gonna pass this one on. Okay, am I just making excuses to keep minted or are these three totally different shades? I feel like minted is more of a true mint shade, whereas these are more turquoise, so for that reason, I'm gonna keep it. Sweet Tart, Whimsical, Chic, Coral Me Wild, Zealous, Charming, Plum Night, Copper Penny, and Plum Seduction. I think I'm gonna get rid of Copper Penny. Plum Seduction is really pretty and it reminds me of my girlfriend Pam. So I'm gonna put it in my keep pile for now. Plum Night is gonna stay. This is one of my favorite Revlon nail polish shades. I think it is so pretty. It's actually similar to that Sally Hansen one I kept and I have a feeling that I'm gonna get rid of the Sally Hansen one at the very end. Charming is gonna stay. I really love it. Zealous. This is similar to, let's see, Nicki Minaj. Kinda looks similar to these two that I passed on. It kinda has a little bit of shimmer to it though. I'll keep it for now and then I'll decide at the very end when I swatch it. I think I wanna keep Sweet Tart. Whimsical can go. I think I'm gonna throw it out. It looks kinda weird. Chic, I'm gonna keep because it's very unique to my collection. I don't have anything like this. And Coral Me Wild, I think I'm gonna pass on because it looks similar to a couple shades I kept earlier. Do you guys remember the Jessie's Girl and and Julie G nail polish collection. That is how long I've been on YouTube. And speaking of which, I wonder what she's up to. I haven't watched her videos in a really long time. These are nail polishes that she made with her own brand. I really love these and I'm gonna keep them both. These three are all Essence Cosmetics nail polishes. For the price, their nail polishes are actually pretty good. They're very, I wouldn't say gel-like, but they're very pigmented and creamy. I just don't see myself using these because I've kept similar shades in this declutter. Ooh, this one's actually really pretty. Chic Reloaded. This reminds me of a MAC pigment. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna get rid of these two. On to my Lee Watier nail polishes. Lee Watier is a Canadian makeup brand. Not sure if you can find it in the States, but in Canada you can find it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm gonna get rid of, I wanna say most of these. These two I'm definitely gonna get rid of because I have similar shades in my collection. I've got Power Punch and Expression. These are like those light up lip glosses that I always find tacky. This is the exception. A lot of the time I'm applying my nail polish in a really dim setting and I always wish Oh shit, that's how old these are. They're like falling apart. I always wish that I had more light so I could see what I'm doing. The light on this applicator actually does come in handy. It's like the only time that I won't complain when I see this light up applicator. Anyway, these two are gonna go. This one in the shade Rose Eden is actually similar to Plum Addiction by Revlon that I kept. I'm gonna have to swatch them at the very end and decide but for now, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, my French is trash. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce that, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. It's, 
I don't know, like an indigo blue. I kind of like it. These for sure need to go. I think they're almost empty anyway. This one, I don't see myself ever using, so I'm gonna toss it as well. This one in plummy, I'm not ready to part with it yet, so I'm gonna keep it. Just a smorgasbord of random ass nail polishes. Let's start off with the ones that I definitely am gonna get rid of. This one is, I think, from Claire's. I will never use it again, and it's very old. I don't know what the hell I was thinking getting this cuck up by NYX. I did want to create some Domo nails once upon a time and I never got around to it. Yeah, I'm gonna toss this. This here is for nail art by Kiss. I might keep this in case I want to do nail art later on. Nicole by OPI. I don't think I'll ever wear this again. I don't know what shade this is, but it's gonna go. A collaboration between Quo and Orly. Quo is a Canadian brand sold at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm gonna throw this out. It's super old. These two are Sinful Colors nail polishes. <sighs> I find Sinful Color to chip really easily unless you're wearing like a really bomb base and top coat, but even then, they don't wear the best. However, I feel like my sister-in-law might like them. I don't know. I'll put them in her pile and she can throw them out if she doesn't like them. And these three are from the dollar store and they're by the brand Billy Cosmetics. They're actually pretty cute. They're all hot pinks. One of them is metallic hot pink. One is like a neon hot pink and one is more of like a fuchsia hot pink. I'm gonna keep all three and I'm gonna swatch them at the very end of this video and decide if I actually do wanna keep them or if I wanna get rid of them. I've got three more polishes here. They're a little bit more luxe. Two of them are Elizabeth Arden. I don't have a lot of reds. I think I only have that one red by Sephora. <clears throat> so I'm inclined to keep these as well. Here I thought I was gonna get rid of these all along and now I'm looking at them and I'm like, hmm. Let me compare this one to the L'Oreal one I kept. Kind of similar, but kind of not. Okay, fine. I'm gonna keep these. And I'm definitely keeping the Deborah Lipman one, even though it's kind of similar to this OPI one. No, actually, it's more gray. It's more like gunmetal. Okay, I'm gonna keep it. We are finally down to my base and top coats. There's a whole gang of them. A lot of these are hella old and discolored. Let me start out with the ones that I'm definitely gonna get rid of. These Sally Hansen Hard as Nails are very old, so they're all gonna go. This Sally Hansen Ultimate Shield, also very old. It's gotta go. Revlon Color Stay Gel Smooth Base Coat is super old. I'm gonna toss it. This Witchcraft Nail Whitener used to be my shit. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I'm gonna get rid of it because it's old. This L'Oreal Top Coat is gonna get tossed. Sally Hansen Diamond Shine. I don't know exactly how old it is, but it almost looks like the cap has oxidized or something because I'm pretty sure it was silver. So I'm gonna throw it away. I have a feeling it's ancient. I'm gonna throw away this Revlon Color Stay Gel NB diamond top coat as well. I know for a fact that it's ancient. I'm also gonna get rid of this Revlon multi care base and top coat. Super liquidy and weird. Um, I think this Sally Hansen gel shine is hella old too. Let me just give it a little sniff. Oh yeah, the cap is also gold now and I'm pretty sure it was silver. And as for the rest of these, uh, this is an OPI natural nail base coat. This one's gonna stay. OPI top coat, that's gonna stay. This is a base coat from the beauty supply store. I don't know what brand this is, but I really like it. It's a good one, so I'm gonna keep it. Essie second shine around uh, top coat, I'm gonna keep. This is a CND base coat. I'm pretty sure I like this, so I'm gonna keep it. Essence gel look top coat. Um, I kinda wanna give this one another try, so I'll keep it. This is my all time favorite top coat ever, ever, ever. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. I get this from the beauty supply store as well and I think their online shop is open to everybody. Anyway, this is the Caracuse Cosanel Fast Dry Top Coat. This is the glossiest, smoothest, most beautiful top coat I've ever used. It does give that gel effect to your nail polish. Sometimes you'll be wearing like a really basic nail polish. It won't go on that smoothly and then you'll go over it with this top coat and it's it's honestly like you're wearing a gel manicure. I absolutely love it. I've repurchased this so many times. I think they still make it because I went to the supply store not that long ago to get eyelashes and I saw that they still had this. So I would highly, highly recommend this. NYC Matte Top Coat. This brings back memories. It's actually pretty good for the drugstore. I don't know that they still make this. I think I'm gonna keep it because I don't have any other matte top coats in my collection. And this little guy is an OPI Rapid Dry Top Coat and I'm gonna keep it for the simple fact that I love tiny things and this just makes my heart very happy. <laughs> This is where we're at. I'm keeping all of these nail polishes. I'm passing these ones on to my sister-in-law and I'm throwing out these ones here. But we are not done yet. Although I feel like I did really well getting rid of all of these, I'm gonna further divide up all of my nail polishes that I kept by shade. And then if I have any duplicates, I'll decide whether or not I wanna pass them on and further declutter.
okay, here they are. This might make my life easier because I can actually visualize everything, or it could make my life harder because I'm gonna have to swatch a bunch of these to make sure that they're not identical, and then I'm gonna make excuses for myself as to why I should keep them anyway, so <laughs> at least I'm honest with myself. I have hoarding tendencies. I'm noticing some similarities between these two reds and these two purples. This one right here is the Elizabeth Arden one, and this one is the Sephora Formula X. Although the Elizabeth Arden one is more of like a, a cherry red, I think I'm gonna pass it on because I just don't see myself reaching for it. And here we have Revlon and Lee Swatier on the right. Lee Swatier was so pigmented, Revlon took me three coats to build it up to that opacity, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I had a feeling that OPI, Mod About You, and Color Club Off the Hook would be too similar, so I swatched them. The one on the left is OPI, and the one on the right is Color Club. They're pretty similar. Color Club is a little bit more warm, and it is new to my collection, so I'm just gonna keep it. And then I decided to swatch these three. On the far left is Sally Hansen, Revlon and Charming, and then Sally Hansen Complete Manicure in I Lilac You, and these are pretty different from one another, so I'm gonna keep all three. These two shades next to one another. The Revlon one has kind of like a shimmer to it, and the OPI is super neon and more green, so I'm gonna keep them both. Then I decided to swatch these three because I had a feeling they were too similar and that I need to get rid of at least one. This one here is the Sally Hansen. It's super chunky. Good thing I swatched it. I'm gonna throw it out. The one in the middle is Plum Night by Revlon, and this one is Lincoln Park After Dark. So I'm gonna keep both of these. This one here is OPI Malaga Wine, and as I was opening this one, I realized it's dried to shit. Like, even the brush is completely stiff. So I'm gonna throw it out. I swatched these two next to one another. This one is the L'Oreal, and this one here is the Lee Swat I actually kinda like the L'Oreal one better. I'm gonna pass that one on. I don't see myself reaching for it. I swatched these four. Although they're pretty different from one another, I think I'm gonna throw out the Sally Hansen. It takes like four coats to build it up. Wasn't sure how I felt about these four. Essence. L'Oreal, Sally Hansen, and Essie. This is ballet slippers. I've now confirmed that I don't want to keep it, so I'm gonna pass this one on. This one, I'm gonna throw out. It applied really chunky. This one, I don't see myself ever reaching for as an all-over color, but I'm thinking maybe down the road if I ever decide to do some nail art or if I'm dressing up for Halloween. I'm gonna keep it a little while longer. And this one here is pretty neat. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I do. Do I think I would wear it on its own? Honestly, probably not. I'm gonna pass it on. Essie, Blossom Dandy, Sally Hansen, Barracuda, Revlon Minted. I realize that the Revlon one is nowhere near as bright as it was. I'm just gonna throw this one out. L'Oreal in Butterfly Kisses next to Color Club Wicker Park. I was really curious to see just how similar these two are. The L'Oreal one is really pretty, but I feel like my sister-in-law is really gonna like this. So I'm gonna pass it on to her. I'm gonna keep Color Club. Sally Hansen Extreme Wear in Pacific Blue on the left, and this one is is Essie Butter Please. I was initially gonna declutter the Sally Hansen one. Now that I see them side by side, I can tell they're slightly different. This is so much more opaque than the Essie one and it's a fraction of the price. So I'm gonna keep them both for now. I wanted to swatch all of these hot pinks. I need to get rid of some of them. China Glaze Shocking Pink. I'm gonna set that one aside. Cool Party. I'll keep it for now, I guess. These Billy ones, I thought I was gonna keep. This one takes a lot of building up and it's just not worth it. The one next to it is pink and the one next to that is Pink Pansy. They're not very different. I think I'd be more likely to reach for Pink Pansy. I'm gonna pass this one on. After that swatch sesh, I was able to eliminate 13 more nail polishes. These six are going in the trash and these seven are going to my sister. I ended up swatching this Essence nail polish and I decided that I wanted to keep it because it's really cute and it's totally different from my other neon yellow and greens. So I tallied everything up. I kept a total of 80 nail polishes. And I got rid of, drum roll please, 85 nail polishes, my friends. That is over 51% of my collection. Outta here. These ones are going to my darling sister-in-law and these ones are going into the bin. I am very proud of myself. I was starting to lose hope there after that row of OPI polishes. I was like, holy shit, this is not going well. But I did it. Before we go, we must see do these still shatter? Since I've already done a shit ton of swatches, I thought why not just use them for this little experiment? Bear with me, this is not my usual setup when I do nail stuff. We're on the floor, we gotta work with what we got, people. So I'm using the turquoise shatter. I'm gonna use it on this one. 
don't remember how many coats. Oh, looks like it's starting to shatter already. Wow. Cool. Okay, let's try the gold one. I'm gonna do it on, I don't know, one of these deeper shades over here. Looks like the gold one is a winner too. Look at the blue one. So shattered in fact that it destroyed the nail polish underneath it. It's not even there anymore. I was curious so I decided to try the Sally Hansen one as well and it's not looking too hot. I think I might actually throw that one out. Hello, it is now a few days later. I had to go to Target and Ikea and Michaels to pick up some bins. These ones here are from Ikea. I've used these in my bathroom declutter video. These are from Michaels. These two are from Target from their kitchen section and I want to repurpose purpose these Muji drawers that housed some of my skincare and my makeup that I kept on my desk. So these are all of my nail products. Regular polish, gel polish, dip powder, poly gel, vials, liquids. Everything you can think of is right here. And all of this is gonna have to fit into these two drawers in my beauty dresser. This dresser, by the way, was a basic Ikea dresser that Chris and I zhuzhed up. The one that I initially wanted was from the UK. When I saw the price, uh, including shipping and everything, I realized that I really didn't feel like having to sell a kidney to afford it, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. I still have to decorate the top of the dresser, but this is going to house all of my makeup and all of my nail products moving forward, so I don't have to reach into the closet anymore. The closet of doom, where everything goes to die. I'm gonna throw on some tunes. P.S. I went to see Post Malone since I decluttered these nail polishes, and he puts on a fire show. We must protect him at all costs. I hope that you enjoy this organizational session. Segment. Okie dokie, Smokey. So the organization is complete. It only took me about 
an hour and 15 minutes, which is not bad for me. I rearrange shit back and forth. I'm indecisive, so not bad at all. In this bottom drawer, I am storing my regular nail polish, my gel underneath here. I've got my dip powders. I use these little bins from Target. Nail tips, my LED lamp forms. Along the side here, I've got alcohol, acetone, nail cleansers, oils, nail polish thinner, all that fun stuff. And in this drawer, I've got my dust collector on the bottom, two of my Muji drawers. Unfortunately, I was only able to fit two of them, stacking all four on top of one another. Didn't work out. Muji drawers are holding lint-free nail wipes and some other supplies. I use these three and stack them on top of each other with scissors and clippers. And under here, I've got files and nail drill bits. And on the bottom, I have some poly gels. This is the art supplies slash miscellaneous items that have no home bin, such as cotton balls and my little plastic wiener finger that uh, you may have seen in a previous video. And then here I have my e-file, my cord for my dust collector, and my handy dandy dust masks. Back here I just stuffed some cotton rounds and nail polish remover. This is too tall for the drawer. And yeah, that's about it. I'm so glad I was able to fit everything in these two drawers. I still have quite a bit of room here and a little bit of room in here for new products that I'm gonna purchase. I think I'm also gonna get rid of my nail files that I tried before my most recent purchase. These just are not, they're not the business, you know? So I'm gonna ask my sister-in-law actually if she wants these. I know that if she watches this and I say that I threw them out and I didn't ask her first, she's gonna be like, what the hell? I would have taken it even though it's wobbly. I would probably keep this just to use on my pedicure. Like this bit right here is good for filing off dryness on the soles of your feet. I just, I have nowhere to put it. I know she's gonna get use out of it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it relaxing or satisfying. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.